This video is a clarification from myself regarding a recent apology video of myself wherein I am speaking with regards to my differences with Maulana Asrar Rashid and I am mentioning, mentioning therein how I intend to make things private, uh, resolve matters privately in the future and so on and so forth. Also mentioning that my initial video against him was a moment of madness. Now, a number of people since have been contacting me and have been asking me regarding this apology video and what was the reasoning behind it and what was the wisdom in doing this. Now, first and foremost, I would like to mention, I raised a number of questions, a number of questions which were valid as well to uh, our brother Asrar Rashid. And in those questions, uh, there were questions related to Aqidah, questions related to the Sharia, and a number of matters which to this day have still not been answered. Even though he has said that he has the answers to everything, however, to this day, I have still not received any answers. Why I mention that uh, I apologize is simply because when the brother came from Birmingham to Bradford, he mentioned that he had been ill, that he had not been given the opportunity to sit with me privately and discuss these issues so that we could reach uh, an amicable solution and so on. So I regretted the fact that I uh, rushed and without uh, consultation with other ulama and scholars, I released a video. So I did apologize and also uh, took the video down. And then I intended to resolve the matter privately by speaking to him, speaking to scholars and discussing these issues. Now, the issues which I mentioned in my original video were discussed in the meeting in Bradford with my teacher, Mufti Muhammad Aslam Bandialwi, with a few other scholars in the presence of uh, Asrar Rashid. However, since that video of my apology has been released, people are beginning to think that I uh, retracted every single thing which I uh, originally said. This is far from the truth. I made valid questions for which I still expect answers and so does the public. Questions relating to Aqaid, questions relating to Sharia and uh, I have every right to seek answers to those questions which relate to Aqaid and Islamic law. As for me stating that the video was a moment of madness, by this I simply meant that me releasing that video in public before I had given him uh, a sufficient uh, chance and opportunity to sit with me and discuss these issues, I believe that was a moment of madness. When so many misconceptions have been spread on the internet and elsewhere, it is my shari haq, it is my right that I respond and I clarify misconceptions. Alhamdulillah for this, I have the backing of my teachers and Alhamdulillah I have their du'as. And with the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I shall discuss the issues which were raised in the meeting and initial questions which I also raised and I shall mention some of them today and will make a request, a kind request to our brother Asra Rashid to give us academic responses. I don't want a group of thugs coming down from Birmingham to Bradford. No, we don't want to do it like this. If you can please just address all of my points and give all the answers academically with evidences. That's all we require so that the masses are guided and informed. And furthermore, those points which require retraction, which are clear mistakes, which inshallah I shall prove, then please, for the sake of Allah Almighty, retract. It is not shameful to seek forgiveness of Allah and nobody is perfect. We all make mistakes and admitting a mistake is something which only men do. And a proper man is one who raises his hand and says, I have made a mistake and I repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is all the more important to do so when you have a mass following and you have people following you because otherwise they will become blinded and they will not know what is right and wrong and out of love for their favorite personality, you know, uh, they will forsake the Sharia and we do not want to build a, a culture of celebrity scholarship, no. We need to become sincere to the deen of Allah and his Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Whereas those people who are associated with Maulana Asrar have released YouTube videos, have you know posted uh, on Facebook, you know on his official Instagram account there were comments and even on online threads. Now when all of this was happening, 
I have maintained silence for the sake of Sunniyat, for the sake of, you know, not causing fitna, for the sake of remaining silent so that we keep unity, so that there is no uh, fitna. However, when I saw that misconceptions are being spread, my name is being mentioned, wrong things are being spread, which did not, which do not uh, show us a true reflection of the meeting. Then there is an eight point statement, which has also been circulated on the page, admirers of uh, Sheikh Asrar and uh, apparently written by uh, Bilal ibn Asif, a student of Asrar Rashid. However, he was not even sitting during the meeting. So that's another matter of, you know, surprise, which raises questions that how was he able to come up with such a lengthy and detailed statement when he was not even in the meeting. Anyway, uh, also I would like to mention that all of these things were happening and I have remained silent, right? You know, I was being attacked. I was being, you know, called all kinds of names. I was being, you know, uh, what can I say? Even threatened. And I even received threats after the meeting. But still, I have maintained my silence. However, it has come to a point where I have been compelled to come out and speak and to mention my side of things and to clarify these points so that the Awam know that I haven't retracted everything. There are certain issues of Sharia which he still needs to retract and certain things which he still needs to clarify. And he mentioned that he has the answers to all my points. And I intend to clarify and answer all his points, every single point. And I intend to clarify and answer all his points, every single point. But I am still waiting. The public is still waiting. Please do give us the answers. It is perfectly fine and valid to question someone who is an Islamic authority or scholar or speaker. For that reason, I have raised valid questions and I seek uh, valid answers. As for the manner in which brothers came with Asrar Rashid to Bradford. those same people who insulted me who threatened me and we have record of everything people witness this on social media those brothers where are their public apologies now Molana Asrar apologized to me in the meeting in private but he didn't do it publicly. I did it publicly on the camera. But I have no shame in apologizing publicly. If there is, uh, you know, something which is a mistake, so be it. A person can admit it and that, that's the end of it. However, for these brothers, the way they came to the meeting, during the meeting, I was threatened. Voices were raised. Two brothers came into the meeting shouting and, uh, you know, threatening, showing threatening behavior towards me. And it was a very intense and hostile environment. And our teacher, Mufti Muhammad Aslam Badialbi, Hafizahullah Ta'ala, who is an elderly scholar, he in fact, you know, was stressed by this. And he had to get up and tell those brothers to leave the masjid. Are these the etiquettes of a scholar, of an Islamic scholar, somebody who's supposed to have, you know, thousands of followers and, you know, influence over Muslim youth? How is this, you know, from the etiquettes of Islamic scholarship and of akhlaq? How can Asrar Rashid justify these actions when I mentioned to him, what are these brothers doing during the meeting? Why are they raising their voices and showing threatening behavior towards myself? He said, they don't listen to me. Now, it's very likely he was saying this because I have deemed him to be like a cult leader. And he's trying to show me that, look, I'm not a cult leader. Look, they don't listen to me. But subhanAllah, everyone knows that some of these brothers who have insulted me, they are your drivers. They drive you around everywhere. They are your close students. Right, they study with you. What kind of tarbiyah are they being given? What kind of, you know, uh, 
learning and teaching are they doing with yourself? What kind of etiquettes are they, you know, showing and displaying towards, you know, other Muslims? And, you know, a senior scholar like our beloved teacher. So, subhanAllah, I can mention these things and I uh, definitely mention these things and I have to say these things because this is the truth and people need to know the truth that, yes, I did apologize and yes, I was uh, making that statement. But you have to understand the environment which was created before myself making that statement and what led to it being made. And also we need to understand how questions still remain unanswered by uh, Maulana Asrar Rashid and we await the answers. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him the tawfiq to come out and answer these questions in light of Sharia and also to retract those matters which are mistaken that he retracts for the sake of Allah and for the sake of the betterment of the Ummah. And then consider the fact that I was alone. I came alone to speak to you, Alhamdulillah. But even though you brought a gang of people, thuggish people, people who had no respect for our noble teacher, for the masjid, for the madrasa. And subhanallah, I came all alone and this is why I continuously said to you, meet me alone, meet one to one. But instead, subhanallah, you brought a gang of people who behaved thuggishly and made threats and raised their voices and also sent me, you know, personal insults and so on uh, prior to the meeting and so on and so forth. So I do pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gives you the tawfiq to distance yourself from these people and to condemn this, publicly condemn this and apologize as well because this was absolutely wrong and out of order, something which is not befitting of a normal Muslim, let alone someone who is known as a public figure, uh, a speaker and a scholar. So may Allah Ta'ala give you tawfiq.